Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Chicago White Sox March to October. The last episode was a good turnaround from the one before. We got back on track with five wins in a row. We came from behind in the moment to give us the momentum boost. We also were able to make a trade for a starting pitcher, Jordan Montgomery, from the Yankees. We traded away A.J. Reed, who was a first base prospect in our minor league system. Didn't re really have any plans for him going forward, so thought it was the perfect trade to add another arm to our rotation. And then our very next moment was actually to get a player lock boost game with the new Jordan Montgomery, which is huge because he actually hasn't pitched at all this season. He's been in the minor leagues the entire season. So we have the chance to be the first impression made on him in his March to October. And hopefully we can get a couple of pluses with him. And also real quick, I wanted to mention uh, since AJ Reed was from our players to shop screen that I set up, uh, that left a spot open. So I decided to put Gio Gonzalez on there because he's pretty much the one that uh, Jordan Montgomery replaced. And he's not having the best year, so we might not be able to get too much back from him if we do have the opportunity to trade him. But uh, I just I just threw him on there because there was really no one else that I had in mind to, to shop around. And it's actually kind of funny because last night I actually had a, a pretty vivid dream that I got a ton of comments on my last video when I made this trade that I was an idiot for making that trade and it was a horrible trade. So I know that's not real, but let's prove my weird dream wrong. And let's go out and pitch a great game with Jordan Montgomery and get him a huge boost. Jordan Montgomery gets the ball today after they dealt for him. While it's early in the season, they've clearly decided they needed to add to the pitching staff. Matty, there's no indecision here. They didn't want to wait till they had some serious problems. They wanted to go out and get a guy that they think can make an impact. Yeah, we always hear about the guys getting picked up at the deadline. But when you make a trade this early... It gives that guy you acquire a lot more chances to make a difference for you. We're starting all the way in the first inning. This isn't one of those no-hitter moments where you're trying to finish off a no-hitter that's been carried into the seventh or something. We're starting right from the beginning. We have complete control in how Jordan Montgomery does in this game, except for the fact that, you know, once they hit the ball, we don't have any control of how bad our defense is. And the first pitch is a pop-up, or the first batter, I should say, is a pop-up. I guess I got to get better with my camera movement on the player lock pitching because we kind of missed it there. But a pop-out to get the first out is a good start. And a ground ball to second base. Danny Mendick scoops it up, and we got two quick outs in six pitches total. It's taken three pitches per batter. Oh, that could have been called a strike. They could have given it to me. Oh, he gets the base hit in very Whit Merrifield fashion right between second and third. That really could have been a strikeout. The pitch before that definitely could have been called a strike. Just saying. Oh, I had to make the play on that. It's kind of confusing with the camera angles. You don't really know where you are at all times. Oh, man. That curveball was not where I wanted it to go, and that got smacked. Right up the middle. And that one, that should be... Oh, I didn't cover. That's my fault. Ah, oh, we could add a double play, but I didn't cover the bag. I'm not used to doing player lock pitching stuff. I don't ever really do pitcher road to the shows. And a broken bat. Montgomery's going to make his second third out of an inning. He's the one to put him away at the end of each inning. All right, man, our offense has got to wake up now. That's two or three innings, actually, where nothing has happened offensively. We got to get ourselves a lead here. Come on. Oh, man, how was that hit that, that well? I thought he got jammed on that, and then all of a sudden I hit L2, and I see the, the baseball icon is, like, at the wall. And the slider gets another ground out. We can't get any strikeouts, though. Jordan Montgomery, not really a strikeout guy so far. Is that going to be another third out made by Montgomery? It is. <laughs> All three third outs so far have been grounders back to Montgomery. Hey, we finally scored a run. Some offensive support. That's good. We're going to need it because, I don't know, I have a bad feeling that in a couple more innings something's going to happen and we're going to we're going to lose control 
I'd really like to get some strikeouts. I feel like the uh, the algorithm or whatever that determines how many pluses we get towards his boost for the season. I feel like it's going to give a little bit more weight to strikeouts than just an overall well-pitched game. So I have a bad feeling if I end up finishing this game without getting a strikeout that I won't get as much of a boost as I probably should. All right, well, there we go. There's the strikeout on the very next pitch after I say that. A backdoor slider, unintentional backdoor slider, but it still worked. And there's the strikeout. Second strikeout of the inning in our first clean inning of the day. We're through four with no runs given up yet. And even more run support now. We start the fifth with a three to nothing lead. Oh, man, that was a good pitch, too. Why aren't you running? Is that Laori? Why is this dude never running in center field? He could have gotten to that ball. Look at this guy. Why? <laughs> it was one bounce. If he sprints, he's there. Oh, man. I knew this was going to happen at some point. I knew the fielding was going to come into play. I just thought it was going to be errors, not people not running. Oh, and now that, <laughs> oh, that one's up the middle. And he misses it. Larry, get out of center field. And I can't even make any managerial changes because I'm not the manager for this game. I'm just Jordan Montgomery. All right, that one should be a double play. I didn't need to cover, but I was going to be there that time. And the two seam up and in pops him up. Mankata makes the play, and we're out of another scoreless inning against all odds. Oh, another strikeout on the curveball. That's his third of the day, I think. Yeah, it's third. Wow. Jorge Soler, of all people, with that at bat, he just put together. I think that was my first walk of the game. All right, a weak grounder to short Tim Anderson. All right, I thought he was going to bounce that throw in, but no, we got it there. That's through six innings with a shutout. This would be, I think it's a quality start if I uh, got pulled out here, but I feel like we're going to keep pitching. And yep, back out in the seventh, our energy is in the yellow. So part of me hopes that we can, after we get through this inning, we get pulled because I have a bad feeling that once that energy gets low, if they keep me in the game, things are going to get ugly. All right. First pitch after the single gets the out. We're through seven now. And please don't make me go into the eighth. Yank me now before it's too late. Oh, no. We're back out there in the eighth with red energy now to face the top of the order. Oh, no. And right away, it was even a... Oh my, Lowry, buddy, you gotta go. I never want to see Lowry in center field for the rest of this March to October. All right, that's going to keep him at second. That was big. Whit Merrifield. Yep. There's going to be the first run allowed. What did I say? I knew we should have been yanked. I told the game, I said, before it's too late, get me out of this game, but no. And now what? They're going to keep me in the game. No, they're not actually. They're taking me out. Okay, good. No, the Royals actually did win. We got two pluses for Montgomery, so that's actually a pretty big upgrade there. Unfortunately, we got a snowflake because the CPU decided to blow it. Man, we did. We gave up a second run in the eighth, another one in the ninth, and then... In extras, the lead was lost. The game was lost in the 10th. All right, so Montgomery with the 2+, plus, that's actually pretty big. That should uh, that should give him a really nice boost for the rest of the year. Our momentum probably isn't going to factor into these simulations here. Yeah, this is just telling me I could adjust this after making the trade, but I already did. I'm on top of things. And we split the series with the Tigers, took the first game from the Indians, and it looks like that's going to be what our next moment is. June 10th, we're about a month away from the All-Star break. Oh, and we can definitely hop into this next moment here. Top of the ninth, one run lead, two outs, two runners on. We need to complete a save. All right, <laughs> this is just a get in, get the job done, get out type moment. No intro, no anything. Francisco Lindor at the plate, Carlos Rodon pitching, trying to go for a complete game shutout. 
I don't know if I'm gonna give it to him. Sorry, Rodon. Sorry about not being able to finish your complete game shutout, but <laughs> we gotta get this win here. And a fly ball to left. Eloy makes the play. It's never a guarantee with him out there, but two pitches does the job. We walk away with a win against the Indians. It's only going to give us a one plus and an extra plus because of the shutout. Nice. And we did pin a loss on a division rival. So we got another win. The Indians moved down in the standings a little bit more. And our momentum is big enough to get us a couple more wins. And we actually sweep the Indians. Take the first game against the Astros, but then lose the series. And we're going for the sweep against the Tigers now. Man, another opportunity to do almost the exact same thing that we did in the last one. Bottom of the ninth, two-run lead this time with two runners on. May as well hop into it. The White Sox have put together a strong campaign so far this year. For more on that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, in the face of media skepticism all along the way, this team has now exceeded expectations for about a half a season, and the rest of the league is taking notice. There will still be plenty of doubters just waiting for them to falter so they can say, I told you so. But these players say that only motivates them more, and that as long as they have their fans and each other, they're good. All right, thanks, Heidi. Next for the Tigers. All right, well... We actually did get an intro for that one. We also have Jimmy Cordero on the mound. I haven't used him yet, but he's been pretty good in the simulations. All right, real quick. It's just because I noticed when I was in the bullpen that Ronaldo Lopez was listed as a reliever. We all remember after the trade that I made for Montgomery that the game automatically moved Lopez to the bullpen, but then I changed it and moved Lopez into the rotation, moved Gio Gonzalez into the bullpen, but look who started this game. It's Gio Gonzalez giving up 11 hits and 6 earned runs in 5 innings. No. No, this one's not going to be clean like last one. We can't let that second runner score. Eloy, you have to get it in. You have to get it in. Oh. Oh. What just... What? What was Eloy doing? I always mention that nothing is a guarantee with Eloy in the outfield, and I really thought that that second run had no shot of scoring at all. But then he does this little hop as the ball comes off the wall, takes about a second to regroup, and then does a huge crow hop to throw it in. Please get there, Grandal. What? What is going on? I'm not meant to win this game, am I? He's about to hit a... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, did I not just call it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you have to be joking. That garbage gives me nine snowflakes. You all know that that was not on me. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe the pitch that uh, whoever that was that hit the, the tying double, maybe that pitch's location was on me a little bit. But the fact that two runs scored on that and then that walk off happened, that has nothing to do with me. Oh my god, that is the biggest snowflake I've ever seen. Just when we were getting on a roll, too. Our next moment better come quick, because we're going to get a lot of losses if it doesn't. And it's not. It, the game is just dragging it out. I don't know how many losses we got there. Able to sneak in a couple wins, though. Okay. It's not another high leverage situation. Well, what, what an insanely up and down episode that was. We were on a roll. Montgomery pitched great. He got a two plus. We were, was, everything was looking good. We shut the Indians out and then all of a sudden, boom, no more momentum. I do think before that Tigers moment though, our projected wins did touch 88. So that's our newest high, but now we're sitting at 86, which is still a pretty solid amount above what we were at. So we're still exceeding our expectations by a lot. 
We also managed to uh, move down to third place in the division. Both the Indians and Twins are above us. The Indians are now projected to win the division by two games. We're only a game and a half out as of now. So we're definitely not out of anything right now. We just got to overcome that, that big snowflake that we still have. Even though it contributed to a lot of losses already, we still have plenty of chipping away to do at that before we're back in the positive in terms of momentum. But that is going to do it for this episode. A lot happened in this one. We did a lot of different things. And uh, after the dust settled, we are literally exactly halfway through the season at 81 games. So in the next episode, I'll probably do a little bit of a mid-season stat update. And then we'll go ahead and play that uh, moment against the Tigers in the sixth. But for now, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know anything you're thinking down in those comments below and subscribe so you don't miss any more of these March to October videos as we're moving closer to the end of the season. But that's all I've got for you guys in this one. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.